In order to run test cases outside Selenium browser extension, we need to do some configuration on our machine. First, we need to install Node and NPM. I am on Node.js website. I have a Windows machine, so I will download the Windows installer. I just installed Node.js and now I opened a common prompt. Please note it's very important to open this common prompt under a user account which has administrator access. To check Node.js is installed, we can type in node-v and now we are going to install Selenium SideRunner. Selenium communicates with each browser through a binary application called a browser driver. For example, for Chrome, we have Chrome driver. For Edge, we have Edge driver. For Firefox, we have Jekyll driver. And for Internet Explorer, we have IE driver. We will install the browser driver for Chrome. That means we will install the Chrome driver. So let's switch back to common prompt and the command to do this is npm install minus g chrome driver. Now both packages selenium side runner and chrome driver are installed. Before running any test cases, we have to do one more thing. Now I am in users app data roaming npm. As we can see, I have here Chrome driver and Selenium side runner. If I go to edit environment variables, I have added two more entries, one for NPM and the other one for Chrome driver. Okay, so I have opened a new common prompt in order to reflect the changes from environment variables. And now we are ready to run the test cases. I have here the command, just make sure you change this path to the location where your project is saved and let's give it a try. As we can see, both test cases were executed with success, both passed. We have at the end a small summary like how many test suites, how many tests and the time needed to run the test cases.